Hey, welcome back to Woodruff Woods. Hey, we're back from the Bunyan Show. What a good time. Uh, special thanks to Brad for that wonderful sign he made me. Um, you'll be seeing that going up here. Uh, we're debating on whether this goes in the man cave or actually in the house. Uh, it's such a work of art. It may just end up in the house as decoration. So uh, I'll let you know how that turns out. That's a lovely Lisa decision, not a Darren from Woodruff Woods decision. So today I'm going to talk about leveling our loads when we're hauling heavy loads like with firewood. Um, since I bought the uh, dump trailer. Uh, as you know, my dump trailer is 7x14 and it is a 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight. So when that's fully loaded with, say, green oak, uh, it's quite heavy. And I noticed that the back of my truck sags a bit. This is a 2500 Silverado HD. Uh, it has a Duramax engine. So even with the Duramax up front, which is, uh, you know, eight, 900 pound engine, uh, I see the back sag once I get a real heavy load in that dump trailer. So what I want to be able to do is level that load. Uh, and I, I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm treating anyone like they don't know what they're talking about. Um, and if I'm stating the obvious, I'm sorry for that. But uh, about 70% of our braking comes from our front tires, front brakes. And so getting that weight back out there on the front of the truck is very desirable in controlling your load a little bit better. So uh, what I've purchased is the Ride Right, and I'll pull these over here where you can see them, the Ride Right uh, airbags. I'm going to install those today. Um, I think you guys will enjoy this. I think uh, this is something that you will find uh, to be useful if you decide to haul heavy loads, especially towing. Uh, these are really useful. Uh, and this particular unit, you get to control everything through your, through your iPhone, which is kind of neat. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get started on this. I'll take you through the process. So this is the kit. Uh, I have not taken apart the this box here. This is the compressor and all the connections there. But uh, pretty simple kit. We have our, our airbags here. Uh, these are the mounts for underneath the truck. We've got some hardware, some, uh, I think that's Teflon line hose. And uh, you can see a bag of hardware. I believe this is I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out. And uh, so anyway, I'm gonna start building these right here on the tailgate of the truck. Then when you get underneath, it should make it much more simple to install. So the first step in this process, well, my first step was to sort all this stuff out by what looks similar so that I can get to the parts quicker. But in the first part, it says that we need to assemble these outside of the truck. Uh, it appears this is one of the mounts. I believe it is the upper mount. And we'll just slide that in there. It says just to leave them loose. So we'll just, you know, catch a couple threads here. Um, make sure that we're doing this uh, the correct way. But uh, leaving ourselves enough wiggle room that we can, you know, do the, uh, the necessary adjustments. So the next step in this process is to put these flange bolts through here. And again, we're just gonna grab a couple of threads and make sure that they're, they're on there. It says to use a quarter inch flange nut, which I believe are these. And uh, if I can get it started, that'd be fantastic. that off a little and so that's one we've got one uh, mount I, like I say I believe these are the upper mounts uh, so I got that done I'm gonna do the other one I won't show you that same process a second time so this is the second part this particular bump stop here which prevents your truck from bottoming out we're gonna remove and that's actually where the uh, 
the mount will the mount we just did will sit so uh i've got a uh, medium sized uh bar here and try to pry that out so we've got that removed um it did not have a nut on it it was just uh compressed up in there so it took a little work with the pry bar to pop it out of there uh, i'll try to film the other side so you can kind of see that process got it out i ran into a problem here last evening when i was working on this truck apparently because of the leveling kit that i have in my truck i'm not getting the spring to seat into the clamp or the the mount correctly i'll show you what i mean so if you look down in here this can rotate and it's not supposed to and it's because it's not really compressed up into this plate here. So um, I can show you um, over here a little bit, a little bit better at what I'm talking about. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the tractor out, I'm gonna load a tote of wood in the back and compress the springs a little bit. So this is the top of the spring. This has to sit into a a hole that's into the top mount. So uh, I'm gonna sit that, that tote of wood up in there and we'll see if it compresses it down enough that I can finish my installation. So I'm gonna get under there. There is one difference on this side. Um, the difference is, is I have this heat shield, which I'll have to mount in there to uh, protect the bag from the heat of the exhaust. Other than that, it's exactly the same as, as the driver's side. Now that I put the weight on the back of the truck, you can see that this doesn't move at all i haven't secured this bottom bracket down which just secures and let me try to get where i can show you um you just slide that up into this slot a bolt goes in up through there i'll get that all mounted up get it solid and uh then i think we can start working on the other side i do have to put a nut up on top of this i don't see a place where i can get a camera up in there but uh, I just dropped that clamp, but basically right up in here, there's a nut and then an air fitting that goes in there. So uh, I'll have to do that kind of blind. Um, I'll see if I can get a camera up in there, but uh, I'm not real hopeful. looking at the uh, top of the spring and that's that big nut that has to go on there uh, you can see I've already got it started so uh, I don't think I can get the camera in here anywhere where you can see there's really nothing to attach to but uh, right in the middle of that uh, and I'll pull you down I have to put this air fitting up in the middle of that and that will be uh, right there is where the quick connect for the hosing will go and uh, that's where air is supplied to the bag. What you're looking at is that air fitting uh, that I showed you on the ground. I've got it partially threaded in there. Um, I'm going to take a wrench. I'm gonna tighten it, but not real tight. I just wanna get it down to where you see that red RTV, make sure that that gets in there and there's no leaks. Um, in this situation, it's probably better to go a little bit less tight. And then if we have an air leak, we can always go back, give it a couple extra turns or something and make sure that uh, we got a good tight seal there. So we are at the rear wheel. And if I go in here, you can see that we are fully mounted. And uh, this isn't really that difficult. If I didn't have the leveling kit on, this would have been a very quick job. Uh, I started doing this last night after work and frankly, I think my brain was a little bit fried. 
So uh, this morning things are going really good. Uh, I'm going to get to the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Um, hopefully uh, don't run into a problem there. So this is the uh, passenger side. Uh, you can see that heat shield up in there. Um, everything fit in here pretty nice with the extra weight in the back of the truck. So uh, I think I had a pretty good idea there. You can see these marks on here. I just marked this so I know the orientation of that little nub on the top that has to fit in that hole. So once I mark that, I match my marks up. And uh, you really can't make enough, you know, too many marks. But uh, I match that up tightened it up on the bench brought it back here stuck it up in there fit perfectly so now we're on to reroute or i shouldn't say rerouting but routing our airlines and mounting our compressor and manifold so at this point of the installation we could use this supplied kit here which mounts to the back bumper actually the hitch and we could use some manual uh, inflation tools but i've bought the optional uh, onboard compressor. So I'm going to need to get under the truck, find a mounting place for this, and uh, also this, this little module here. Um, I call it a manifold, that's not the correct term, but this supplies Bluetooth to my phone so that I can inflate and deinflate the bags as necessary. So I'm going to get around to sorting all this out, start uh, putting things together. The instructions are pretty clear on where you have to put things. Um, again, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but this is the Firestone air right or ride right uh, kit with the compressor so um, the reason I wanted to use this is that I didn't want to run around with a battery operated compressor in the truck and a gauge and trying to match uh, you know uh, even out the load and all that stuff this will all do that automatically for me so uh, Anyway, I'm going to get started and I'll take you along once I figure out where I'm going to mount this and how I'm going to power it. I found a, what I believe is a good mounting spot for the compressor. We're on the driver's side, probably about, I don't know, halfway back, maybe, maybe a little more. And uh, I think I can drill through this sheet metal pretty easily, bolt it up in there. I need to leave room to connect right here. That is just uh, air intake and filter. We have the compressor mounted. And over here, the ECU is the correct term. I guess that's probably electronic control unit, I'm guessing. And uh, so I started wiring the hose in. Gotta leave a loop in this one, just coming off the compressor in case there's water or dirt or something, it'll catch it in that loop and not push it into the ECU. So uh, I'm gonna, build a little T here and then we'll be headed back to the airbags here in just a minute. Uh, running all those uh, hoses and wires we actually have it set up so uh, you can see that I got the tote there in the back I'm going to uh, actually point you right at the rear of the truck so uh, that is telling me that I have 34 psi in there um, so if I move this down, maybe I want to take it down to, say, I don't know, 19. You'll see it lower. So you can see that it, it works quite well. Um, I do think I might have a leak somewhere because I, I think it's bleeding off, but I'm not sure. So uh, I'm going to keep watching it, see what happens. But, uh, you know, I think this will be a nice addition to the truck, make things hauling, hauling, towing, whatever, much, much better. So uh, that's going to be it for today. That's all for Woodruff Woods, and we'll catch you on the next one.